fall is finally here and after countless hours of planting food plots, doing our scouting, checking trail cameras, and um, tuning the bow in the backyard, it was time to be in a tree stand. Those first couple months we had some good encounters but it just didn't quite come together and it was finally November. We knew that anything could happen at any time. Alright, we're in here tonight. It's November 7th. Um, sat this morning with the southwest wind and it was pretty heavy. Um, and then the wind really died down at night and switched to the northwest so we're back in the stand we were last night and the shooter walk right underneath us um, after dark. Shot the, shot the deer right at dark, um, gave him some time. I think he should, couldn't have gone too far, hopefully. So we're back out here, hopefully, and find him. Um, pretty quick here, so we keep him. <laughs>
out here tonight. It's November 7th. Um, had some bucks chasing does right before dark. And um, same stand I killed a deer in last year. Um, right before dark, he walked the ridge, worked my mock scrape, presented me with a 20 yard broadside shot, and, and I made the shot on him. And just couldn't be any happier with this deer. Um, set my goals before the year, what I wanted to accomplish, and this is exactly what I wanted to do. And um, let's cap it off all right here. Just, it's bittersweet and can't be more thankful and blessed. Thanks to my two brothers for helping me come out here. Cole actually finding him. And thanks for my dad for filming for me all season. Um, he should be on his way actually. So, um, just can't be any more happier. We're gonna get him packed out, get him cleaned up. Should be ready to go. I was truly blessed to be able to harvest that deer and it was a great start to the season.